Hi guys, welcome back to another video on the channel today, another MCFC preview where in three days time, this, this Tuesday evening coming up, we will be facing FC Porto um, away in Portugal in the UEFA Champions League group stage. Now, we have already qualified but we haven't won our group yet. I think if we win this game we will win the group, a draw won't be good enough so we need to win to win the group officially, which I do think we'll win anyway, we will win the group anyway. But in my opinion, I'll take this game serious. Um, I have, I know that I've said in my previous videos that I would rest players um, for the remaining two games, but I want to win this game because I want to get the group wrapped up because finishing top's important. You don't want to finish second and get a tough draw like one of the Giants. You want to get finish top and get an easy draw, hopefully. So that's what I want. So I hope we play a strong team. I hope we take this game serious. Plus, FC Porto are the second best team in the group. They're currently second in the group, so they're a good side. And they give us quite a good game in the Etihad, so they've got the potential to beat us. Um, I do believe I'll have a look now. They are top in the in the Portuguese league, so you know they're the second best team in the group as it stands. So, well, the second in the Portuguese league, but they're a good team. So, and we've got Fulham on Saturday. Obviously, this game's on Tuesday, so I do think we'll beat Fulham regardless. So I'd go for a strong team in this match. I'd go all out to win it. I want us. So then in that last game against Marseille at the Etihad, we can play a weakened team then, the young lads, I feel, give them a chance. But I would name the, some of the young lads on the bench for this game. But I feel if we if we win this game, we can put our focus all on the Premier League and, and rest players in that last game against Marseille. But here's my lineup prediction. Um, I'll get into the match like I normally do. Obviously, we're coming on the back of a 5-0 win against Burnley yesterday, an all-round great performance. So I do think there'll be changes from that um, Burnley game, but I do think... It, I expect a strong lineup, but this is what I've gone for. I've gone for Edison in goal, Carl Walker at right back, a centre back part, a centre back partnership with Ruben Diaz and John Stones. I think that um, they'll keep their places. They'll stay the same because they look quite good together. I don't think Laporte will be risked in this match as well. Left back will be Zinchenko. I think Zinchenko coming for Mendy. As we know, Mendy put in a great performance yesterday, but with his injuries and his fitness concern, I don't think he'll be involved in this game. I think he'll be saved for the weekend against Fulham. So I do think he's in Jenko step in, that's fine. I think Fernandinho's going to play this match and return to the team. It'll be a good game for him to return to get his fitness up. Um, I've gone for Fernandinho to play central defensive midfield. I do think we'll go back to our 4-3-3 formation this game. As we've played that in maybe the Champions League this season. The two attacking midfielders, I've gone for Kevin De Bruyne, who I do think is going to start. And um, Phil Ford, and I think he'll come back in the team. Uh, the front three of Ferran Torres, Gabriel Jesus and Raheem Sterling. So yeah, I think it'll be a strong team because Porto are the second best team in the group. They give us a good game of the Etihad. We've qualified but we want them in the group. And then if we win this game, we can rest players against Marseille in my opinion. I would include the young lads on the bench, the likes of Tommy Doyle, Tommy Doyle, Cole Palmer, Adrian Bernabe, maybe Liam Delap, players like that. So yeah, um, it'd be nice if they're on the bench. I think they will be anyway because... 12 substitutes is in it so I think they will anyway with you know our squad anyway so yeah um, prediction for the game I'm going to go for a tight 2-1 win to us because I do think Port are a decent team they cause us problems um, at the end yeah, the one they looked that game I forgot which play it was for them but he scored a great goal I remember I streamed it um, they got some our right players so obviously Pepe the experienced centre back you got to watch out for him because he's a very dirty player um, They've got some quite good players at strikers. Morega is called. He's quite a handful. So we've got to watch out. Um, they could get at us defensively. Yes, I've gone for a tight 2-1 win. My goal scorers, I'm going to go for Raheem Sterling to get one. And I'm going to go for Gabriel Jesus to score. Um, the new will score for Porto, but that's my prediction. Um, yeah. We've, won the, we've already qualified, but it'll be nice to win the group and get an easier draw feel for for the um for the knockout stages i remember last season i think we we did finish top of our group when we got real madrid which was unfair for but we did knock them out um it'd be nice if we could get a bit of an easy draw this year and not get a, a big club like that like a massive club um because obviously we finished top they finished second then they got real madrid and we ended up getting them so it's much better if you finish top anyway because if you finish second you know you're going to get a big team like one of the giants like you maybe a psg or someone in the knockout so you never know, we could get a big team again for finishing first, you just don't know. But yeah, let's take this game serious. They're the second best team in our group, they're a good team. Uh, let's wrap the group up, let's win it. And then we can put all our focus to the Premier League and play a weekend team against Marseille or more of the young, the young lads, I feel. Uh, yeah, I hope we win this game. I've gone for 2-1. Leave your predictions in the comments down below. We're coming off a great 5-0 win against Burnley. We're picking up form now, I feel. 
we're starting to get there but it's about that consistency and keeping it up up the fucking blues come on city thanks for watching guys take care i'll see you for a fifa knows video coming soon of this match um and the review will be out have a tuesday wednesday night for this game take care guys come on city up the fucking blues and i'll see you later bye